Hey everyone, Chris here with another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at a tempered glass screen protector for a Google Pixel, Google Pixel XL. Um, I've been reading a lot up on tempered glass screen protectors just because I'm particular. I want to make sure I get the best one for your device, for my device. And from XDA forms, um, I found a lot of people really liking this uh, Utech. You can purchase it on Amazon. It comes with two tempered glass screen protectors. So for about eight bucks, I figured I'd give it a try, see how it fits. We'll get into everything here. Everything just comes out. And there's some more down inside there. All right, so it looks like we got two of everything. Um, you got a squeegee, you got all your stickers to lift up your dust off the screen. It tells you kind of upper and lower. It is designed to be smaller, so that way there's no halo effect um, because of the 2.5D glass that are on most smartphones nowadays. Let's go ahead and look into the this glass itself that's good it's not cracked and it's nice that there's these little handles here it makes the installation very easy you don't have to worry about holding it and then misaligning stuff your fingers are out of the way and you can just drop it down so that's a nice touch i love when companies include that already a win in my book next one is good as well so we have the cutout for your um, sensors your camera and the earpiece and then down below completely solid so if we go to just lay this on top that actually goes this way if you lay it on top it looks like it does cover the whole at least LCD screen which is good and even with the speaking screen uh, even with this Spigen case, there is still a slight gap around the edges, but we'll go ahead and get this installed and see how how it actually fits. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I am back with the installation. So here it is. You can see there is like a millimeter gap all the way around between the Spigen Neo Hybrid case and the screen protector. There is not any um, halo effect if you do this correctly. I am just running into just slight um, bubbles there, right there, and then just along that edge. But I've been trying to uh, just heat it up and put pressure on it. Hopefully it goes away in a day or so, but this was a lot bigger right in there. But so far, everything seems to be looking great. And yeah, I'm happy with it. And you also, again, have a second one to spare in case this one cracks, which is nice. Installation was easy like you would expect because of those tabs, but um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, always I recommend you leaving questions and I'll leave links down in the description where you can purchase this screen protector. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.